Hi everyone. I hope that you are in a perfect condition because I want to tell you about the simple present perfect. It is one of the advanced tense. Let's begin with the pattern. Subject plus have or has plus verb three or in past participle. We can use has if the subject is singular. If the subject is plural, you use have. I hope that it is clear enough for the pattern. So let's just go on to the uses of the simple present perfect. The first is to express the complete activity or action. Um, simple present perfect and simple past often make the student confused when they have simple present perfect and when they have simple past. Okay, I want to tell you now. For the complete activity, I write here complete activity. It means that simple present perfect focus on the completeness finish action. Let's see the example. The chef has tasted all dishes for the party already. Already is the word that supports the meaning of the complete activity or finish. This sentence means that the action of tasting all dishes is finished or it was finished just some time before present or some time before we are speaking. But the most important is that there is a result. There is a relation to the present. That's why the name is simple present perfect. Here it is. They are ready to be served. The dishes are ready to be served. Let's compare to simple past. The chef tasted. This is simple past. We use for two here. The chef tasted all dishes for the party five minutes ago. Five minutes ago because we want to focus on the time. If we want to focus on the time, we use simple past. And surely we don't care about we don't care about whether it is finished or not. The most important is it was finished five minutes ago. So let's see the second. The guests have already been in the ballroom. Have already been in the ballroom. It means that the guests are in the ballroom now. They are talking one to another. I see them there. They are not outside. But if you use simple past, the guests were in the ballroom some minutes ago. Some minutes ago, the guests were in the ballroom. It means that now they are not here anymore. So it, it is the difference between the simple present perfect and simple past. Again, if you want to focus on time, when, use simple past. If you want to focus on the completeness and no matter about when it was finished, just use the simple present perfect. Okay, go to the second present repeated action. Action that is repeated. The master of ceremony has invited the guest to enjoy the dinner in the dining room twice. But there are only few entering the room so I write here present it means that there is an intention to do it again at present based on this fact there are only few only few of the guests entering the room it means that the others are, at, are outside that's why there is an intention of the master of the ceremony to invite them again for the third time but 
when we use simple past, the master of ceremony invited, it is simple past, invited the guests to enjoy the dinner in the dining room twice. Now they have been in the dining room, so I want to inform you that the action of the invitation, the action of inviting the guests was done only twice and they all paid attention and just went to the dining room and now they have been in the dining room let's see the other the waiters have served for big bowls of fruit salad we can express the repeated action by having quantity like this so the first big bowl is empty and then it is taken and then serve the next and then taken empty again and then again again and again so it is considered as a repeated action the waiter have served for people's of which salad there are still many standing in line to have it there are still many guests standing in line to have it it means that they still want to get the fruit salad so there is a possibility for the waiters to serve another bowl so it is repeated again in the present but the waiter served for big bowls of fruit salad it is in the past it was the case favorite so again I just want to inform that in the last party, I or the uh, the serve serve for big bowls because it was the guest favorite. So there is no relation to the present. Just remember that all past tenses, all past tenses, don't have any relation to the present. Let's see for the third. To show an action began in the past and continues up to present. It means that uh, what happened in the past is just the beginning. The professional chef has worked for my restaurant for five years. It means that this professional chef began to work for my restaurant five years ago. And now he still works for me even he develops some cooking techniques so it continues up to now up to present but compared to past as I told you that past doesn't relate to present you have this this professional chef worked for my restaurant for five years but now he works in a hotel so I'm holding the picture of a professional chef. I want to tell you about him. That this professional chef worked or ever worked for my restaurant and the duration is five years. Uh, for example, from 2014 to 2019. Now it is 2020, so it is in the past. But now he works in a hotel. He doesn't work for me anymore. Okay, the next example, the perfect taste of our traditional food has been known for years and it will always be. <clears throat> there is a hope that it, I mean the taste of our traditional food will always be like that until in the future. And this is four years to show the duration. Of course, it was um began uh, it began when it was created years ago try to compare it with the simple one here i mean the simple past here the perfect taste of our traditional food was known for years so it is simple past due to the kinds of food from other countries people may forget i want own traditional food the taste was known for years but now it is not known anymore 
one of the factors probably is this due to the kinds of food from other countries nowadays there have been uh, many restaurants selling about uh, other food from other countries so people uh, tend to or prefer this kind of food so they forget about their own traditional food if they forget about their own traditional food the perfect taste of our traditional food is forgotten is forgotten that's why it was known for years but now it is not known anymore okay i think that um i hope that you can understand or to differentiate between the simple present perfect especially the uses and the simple past so i want to review or i want to underline that all past tenses don't have any relation to present but present perfect simple present perfect always or there is a relation to present if you want to use the present perfect you just focus on the completeness or the continuing to the present but if you just want to tell or to give the information of what happened in the past you just use the simple past surely put the time signal okay i think it's enough for my lesson today so thank you for watching and goodbye